Hey everyone, this is Sal Congeloso from geek.com and I'm here with the Alienware M14X. The system just landed a little while ago and we've already filmed the unboxing video, but while we edit that, edit that up, I wanted to talk a little bit about the parts this one has. So uh, as you know, the M14X, it starts off at 1099. That's the, the base level build, uh, pretty bare bones. So uh, the model we'll be testing, it has uh, Windows Home 7, premium 64-bit, which is standard. 4 gigabytes of RAM, which is standard. But we did go with the Core i7 2630QM, so it's a quad-core processor. That's a $100 upgrade over the uh, stock model. It's a 2.0 gigahertz processor, pretty solid choice. The display we're running, instead of running the normal 14-inch 1366 by 768 display, we're going with the, uh, we went with the 1600 by 900. That's a $75 upgrade off the baseline one, and uh, I think it's worth it. So get a little bit more resolution, everything looks a little bit better, you could do more on the screen. Computer has a lot of power, so uh, for 75 bucks, it's a pretty good option. You, know, you have a lot of uh, display inputs, so you're always probably gonna want to upgrade to, uh, or plug in an external display if you want to go 19, you know, 1920 wide or something like that, but uh, having a better display on there for $75 makes sense. So uh, past that, we have the 500 gigabyte hard drive. Again, baseline part, but 500 gigabytes gets the job done. I know some people are gonna go with the uh, SSD, but if you go stock from Alienware, that's a really expensive upgrade, so I don't think it's really money well spent. If you wanna go with uh, SSD, you should uh, upgrade later on, on your own. Uh, at least that's my recommendation. We have an, uh, a video in our YouTube channel that explains how to do the upgrade. It's uh, actually not a very difficult process. The video card we're going with is the standard video card on this system. That's the NVIDIA GeForce GT 555M. Uh, it has Optimus, which is awesome. Been waiting for that, the uh, you know graphics switching. So uh, it's useful for saving battery life and that sort of thing. And we have the 1.5 gigabyte model. You can upgrade to the uh, three gigabyte model, but it probably isn't gonna be worth it for most people. If you just need more, Graphics power, the the RAM bump isn't a dramatic change, so going the base model and saving some money is our recommendation. So uh, that's it, really brief. The uh, unboxing video is on the way and we'll start undergoing the gaming benchmarks pretty soon. We're just downloading some games now. The, uh, and then we'll have to install them and set them up and update the driver and, and all that stuff. If you do have any questions about the build for the M17X or uh, what you know, what you think you should get, or how you have done it differently? Please leave a comment below. I know everyone has some uh, different budgetary restraints and different priorities, so it's always interesting, interesting to hear back on uh, what people think and uh, you know why they went with six gigabytes of RAM or why they went with the uh, higher end processor or they didn't go with the higher end display, what have you. So yeah, this is Sal Congeloso from Geek.com with the uh, Alienware M14X. It's a lot more on the way, so check back and leave comments. Thanks for watching.